welcome to the Go Potty podcast. I'm Rebecca Mottram, a children's nurse with a special interest in potty training. This podcast presents a new way of potty training, one that is backed by science and child development. So get ready to be surprised at what you'll learn and get ready for some fun too, because children learn best through play. Each episode will explore a key aspect of potty training with practical tips and expert advice all proven to work. So whether you're just starting out or you've already started, I'm really glad you're here. Prompting is such an important thing to get right when potty training, and it's often an area where problems can begin. So in this episode, I'm going to give you an idea of how you might prompt your child, which can help avoid problems beginning. There are two things that we commonly do when it comes to prompting our child to use the potty, and neither of them are particularly helpful. The first one is that we might set a routine of having them go and sit on the potty at set times. So this might be every 20 or 30 minutes. And we do this because we're trying to avoid accidents. But I think we need to stop doing this and I'm going to explain why. It's because we really need our children to be able to understand the signals that their body is giving them for themselves. And we need to prompt them at that time. If we interfere with this, they may never feel what a full bladder feels like. And so we're interfering with their ability to recognise it for themselves. And also when they go and sit on the potty, if nothing happens, they get annoyed. And this is where resistance develops. The second thing that happens a lot is that we'll ask a question. So we'll say something like, do you need a wee or do you need a poo? And we'll say this because they are showing us that they need to go through their body language. But instead of giving them that information, we ask a question. And by asking that question, we'll get a no. And then you're at a dead end. And that makes it very difficult for you to know what to do next. Do you say, well, I don't believe you or you do need to go and argue with them about it? Or do you say nothing and know that an accident will then happen? And again, this is where problems can begin. So here's what I think we need to do instead. First of all, take time to learn your child's signals and signs and timing so that you can prompt them at that time. Then, when you do see a sign or you know that it's time, give your child the information so that they can understand for themselves what needs to happen. So for example, you might notice them fidgeting and you might say something like, I'm looking at you and you're doing that fidgety thing and I think this is your body's way of telling you that you need to go. Or you might be a bit more playful and say, "Mm, I'm looking at you fidgeting and I think Mr. Poo is calling you. Let's go and get that poo in the potty. And so by making these kind of statements, you're not asking a question that you're going to get a no answer to. Prompting in these ways doesn't mean that your child's going to immediately say, well, thank you very much, that was very helpful, and then go to the bathroom. In fact, they're still likely to say no anyway. And if this happens, the thing to understand is that your child is thinking something along the lines of, I don't want to stop playing, or I don't want to be told what to do. So if you get resistance at this point, try to be playful, and this could include using the Mr. Poo or Mrs. Wee concept, or challenging them to get to the potty going backwards or doing a dance on the way, or ask them in a silly voice or have one of their toys ask them. And this playful way of approaching things will help your child to feel that maybe going to the bathroom might be an okay thing to do. But even with this excellent parenting, your child may still say no. And at this point, you need to realise that you cannot make your child go to the toilet or the potty just because you think it's the right time or because you want them to. Instead, we have to recognise that they want control over this and we have to give them that control. So we can say something like, OK, well, when you do get that message from Mr. Pooh, you know where your potty is. Or you might say something like, Well, you know where the bathroom is and I know that you'll get your poo in there when it's time. Let me know if you need any help. And so by doing this, you're not withdrawing your support, but you are setting your expectation and the limit, as well as giving them an opportunity to do it for themselves, which they can then be really proud of. And if this doesn't work and your child does have an accident as a result of the procrastinating or ignoring the signs and signals or your very helpful prompts, then it becomes about how you manage that accident in order to make it an effective learning opportunity. 
This is something that I cover in the episode on managing accidents and it's also something that you'll find in the companion guide to this podcast series. And that's all for this episode of the Go Potty podcast. I hope you found it helpful. Remember, you can do this. You know your child better than anyone, so trust in your instincts. Be patient with yourself and your little one, and most importantly, keep it fun and playful. And don't forget to get your copy of our podcast companion guide, so you have all the strategies, games and activities when you need them. It's available via the link in the episode notes or on my website, littlebunnybear.com. Thank you for listening. Until next time, happy potty training.